Hello, my name is Shelly Cutter and I'm a one-star national marketing director here at Nearim International. This is just going to be a quick video talking about EHT and how you can simply understand it and also communicate it to your team and to your business partners and potential brand partners and customers. I encourage you to still use your third-party tools in our back office. They are amazing and um, um, obviously this message is here it's just to help you with your confidence and overall message. To give you a little background about myself, I uh, am a pharmaceutical rep. I was a pharmaceutical rep for 12 years selling a brain health medication. Um, and what I wanted to let you know is the importance of EHT in the medical community. What I mean by that is um, there, are a, there are a few medications that treat cognitive impairment. However, there aren't many and it leads a lot of physicians to be very frustrated about some of the problems that do occur from uh, cognitive impairment. Now, of course, our brains do so much more um, than just memory, but that is one area in which I can speak of about the lack of medications that are currently on the market for um, treatment. The other thing to mention is a lot of the medications that are on the market for, whether it's impairment or even focus, attention, things like that, what they do is they treat the symptoms, but none of them actually help with the anti-aging process of the brain at the earlier stages of the brain. All they do is they focus on the symptoms that happen later in life, um, and of course by that time it's, it's really past the point of ever returning back to normal. So when a neuron actually becomes dysfunctional and starts to become damaged and eventually dies, there is no getting that neuron back to normal. There is no getting that neuron back at all. The ne when the neuron is gone, the neuron is gone and therefore that is how um, we see cognitive impairment um, declining over time in certain disease states. So what that means is we need to hang on to every single one of our neurons as fast as, as, as early as we can and keeping them as strong as we can in order for us to have the most optimal brain health. Okay, so to give you a little bit about our product, um, EHT, as you know, Signum Biosciences are, is the research organization that came up with this product. Um, 20 years ago, Dr. Jeffrey Stock started doing research out of the Princeton University labs. Now there was already data already uh, that was out there that had linked coffee drinkers to having less likelihood of developing um, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. So overall brain health, um, overall um, organic brain disease, excuse me, um, later in life. And of course, you, you know, the researchers really wanted to understand, although coffee has a lot of benefits to it, but what was it specifically about? coffee and cognitive impairment that were related. And that's really what led them to start the research in the first place. So that research then went on and Dr. Stock was able to isolate a particular um, bioactive nutrient or a bioactive molecule called the PP2A. And PP2A, um, what it does is it helps support and strengthen a very vital protein within our brain called the tau protein. Now the tau protein, um, it essentially it's a wrapped around um, a, an area of our neurons that's responsible for transmission of data from one neuron to the next neuron to the next neuron to the next neuron and so on. And that is called the microtubules. And the microtubules will transmit that data and it needs to have that tau protein wrapped around it so that data can be um, transmitted optimally. So what that means in another term is that our neurons will fire rapidly. So what happens though, we all age and we all have stressors in life. We have oxidative stress, which happens on the inside. We have outside stress factor, factors, lifestyle stress. We also have lifestyle choices that we make, whether it's drinking, alcohol, um, foods we eat, exercise, all of these things all help lead to, uh, all, uh, excuse me, all lead to potential weakening of the tau protein. And there are other various reasons such as, you know, having some trauma to the head and, and so on. Um, but as our tau protein weakens over time, it becomes, the neuron becomes um, susceptible for damage, susceptible for dysfunction. And when that occurs, those transmission, that transmission of data stops. It doesn't 
connect to the next neuron. So therefore, that line that had just been communicating, it's gone because it's been stopped. It cannot communicate to the next neuron, therefore not allowing that messaging to occur. Now, of course, we have a, like a bazillion, gazillion neurons in our brain. That's the medical term. And um, so obviously that's going to happen to some of our neurons, but if we can keep that to a minimum and allow our brains to fire rapidly, that's where we're going to be able to pick up some of the slack when those some of those neurons do, um, you know, have dysfunction and die off. Now, so when this weak, when, when the tau protein becomes weak and when it does become um, dysfunctional, what might happen is you'll start to see a um, a lack of recall. Maybe you'll have uh, less focus within within your mind. You'll have less mental acuity. I know personally, my um, mental alertness was slower. I felt like I had mommy brain all the time, as that's what I called it, but let's call it brain fog, um, where I just simply had an idea of what I wanted to talk about. I just, it, it wasn't clear. It took me a long time to get to the point. There were words I would forget. Now um, I feel much clearer in what I want to say. My articulation has improved. Um, all of these things because my neurons are firing more rapidly, communicating to the rest of my body for what my body is needing at the time or what my body is asking for. Um, I also feel that um, and what EHT has done is it helps improve your energy, boost your natural energy stores. So for me, I don't need to drink caffeine the way I used to. Um, in fact, I don't really drink it at all unless I just feel like having something just for kicks and giggles. I have energy throughout the entire day, and I also feel like my sleep has improved because, again, my, my brain is allowing itself to communicate to my body's needs. My body's needs needs a nice, restful sleep, so therefore putting me into that deep sleep that really allows me to, um, you know, not only dream, but I, I'm falling into that deeper REM sleep um, and therefore awakening at, uh, at a much more energetic level. So end of the story guys is our tau protein is so important and there are theories out there on why people have cognitive decline and there are a few medications out there that speak to a few of those particular theories but there is one theory that has been untouched in the medical community and guess which one that is? It's the tau protein theory and Finally, because of Cigna Biosciences and because of our product, we are able to deliver uh, something that speaks to that particular theory on why um, people experience cognitive dysfunction and cognitive impairment in, in life. Um, so for you to, I, I, I never want you to underestimate the power of EHT. This is such a big issue, such a big product. Um, anyone who has a brain could benefit from it. We need to keep our brains healthy. We need to keep our brains um, working at the highest level they can. The, our brains are our motherboard. They are our command center. So if you are going to be communicating to the rest of your body about how you want your body to respond, this is, needs to respond rapidly quickly have a high functioning rate. If it's slow, if it's weak, the rest of our body's um, responses will be slow and weak. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Shelly Cutter, and thank you all for taking a look.